Just following on from a few more questions from some Rhino Gold users about parametric jewellery design and what options are available uh, either in Rhino Native or in Rhino Gold and for Matrix or, or Matrix Gold for that matter. What we've just got here is a simple uh, definition that uh, creates a ring shank profile and we can adjust the width and the gemstone size and the number of stones and things like that. So I'll just quickly give you a look at that and a couple of other things. So let's just maximize our perspective view here. And what we have here is just a, a simple ring with uh, seven stones here. And I've just made a couple of customizations here and added some extra options uh, which allow us to tweak this a little further. So we can select a uh, region here. So for instance, I could select uh, US or American here. And you'll see I've got a ring size here, which I can change. So let's make this, I don't know, eight and a half in US sizing. Uh, we've got a ring width and a ring thickness. So the thickness refers to the thickness here, obviously, and the width in the top. So we can adjust that. And you'll see, as I say, it's parametric, so it will update straight away in the design. We can set the quantity of stones here. So again, I could come in here and let's say we've got, I don't know, 16 stones. And you'll see that's updated in the model immediately. Uh, we've got spacing between gems and things like that. I do have a few other controls that I've disabled for the moment, but we can actually display the size of gemstones here. You can see that now displayed for each of the stones, so they're 1.5 mil stones. And again, uh, I could come in here, let's say, and change the ring width. Let's say make it 2.6. And you'll see the gems update for the new sizing. Uh, if I change something like the channel edge, the width of the channel, let's say 0.4 mil, you'll see those stones adjust again. Let's make it 0.37. Got 1.8 mil stones there. Now, let me just switch off that sizing. Just so we disable that. And uh, I've also got a cutter in here. So this cutter will enable itself along with the number of gems that we've got. So again, if I was to change the quantity of stones here, let's change this back, let's say to 12 or something, you'll see the cutters dynamically update for the new stone quantity. Just switch off those cutters for now again. Okay, that's one simple definition. Let's have a look at something else. So here's another definition. And again, we can control things like the ring width. So we've got a slider, or we can enter in the values there. You can see that's dynamically adjusting there. Same with the thickness. Uh, the, the, the quantity of panels here, so there are six panels all the way around the ring, so I might change that to four for instance, or I could change it to ten or something like that. And also we've got the length of the panels, so uh, this um, increases or decreases the panel length and to a maximum. And we've got a width, so this is making the, the wall wider or narrower. We've got a depth of the panel which we can control. We've also got the angle which we control. So we can have, let's say, a straight edged wall here. Or we can set that with a, an angle. Okay. And again, I can adjust the depth. So that's another example of a definition that's been created. So the advantage of this is that you can create definitions that are outside of the scope or capabilities of your software. So uh, whether that be Rhino Gold or Matrix or Matrix Gold, uh, you can create some specific customizations to suit uh, and create some parametric designs that you can use over and over again and obviously change those based on, you know, a different ring size, uh, a different stone quantity in the case of the other definition I showed you. And I'll just give you a look at something else just as, again as another example here. Now, this is one someone else has created and you can see there's a quantity of stones and a size of stones so I've just changed the number of stones to a hundred to fill the area with a pave of all similar size stones 1.8 mil in diameter 
and now he's enabled a, um, a little cutter that will cut seats for the stones. Most of the controls he's actually got off screen here at the moment so you can't see them in this video but that's what he's doing, he's changing some of those parameters. So there we go, we've got some cutters that have cut through based on a 1.8 millimeter diameter stone, a hundred of them in that pave. And now you'll see we can actually add prongs. So these are going to be some small beads around uh, the pave. You can change the diameter. You can see he's scaling that now with these little balls or spheres, beads if you like, that make up that pave. And now we'll add some extra sort of cuts uh, just across the face of those seats using those little shapes there, those green shapes that you see. So part of the definition is to array them so they're dynamically arrayed around the pave. Changing the bead size again. Just fine tuning the bead size. And now with a boolean end uh, operation to cut out the little spaces in between for the pave. And the little beads on the outside edge can also be adjusted. Alright, uh, and for those of you running Rhino 6 uh, or, or running um, you know, your software through Rhino 6, either using Rhino 6 native or using a plugin like Rhino Gold or uh, Matrix Gold or something like that, you've obviously got the control to use um, exactly the same sort of functions uh, for parametric design. So for any of you wanting to explore that, you certainly can go to uh, the Grasshopper page it's grasshopper3d.com and uh, there's lots of little scripts and utilities and definitions there that you can find. Uh, you'll see here that uh, Grasshopper is included as I say with Rhino 6. If you're running Rhino 5 uh, it's a separate little plugin that you download and install as I say that's free of charge. For jewelry applications you can also download Peacock. Peacock is a, a free uh, algorithmic uh, jewelry modeling tool or environment which gives you a whole bunch of tools that you can string together to do different things so that was an example here uh, in the earlier file that I showed you uh, which is a definition made up of you know something to build the ring shank something to place gems uh, something to create a channel uh, another tool to create prongs in line and uh, all those bits are strung together to create uh, this definition which as I say is reusable and customizable so it's just simply a case of starting a new drawing and again coming in and changing this so if this was another ring for someone else let's say it's size 7 US you can see that's adjusted now still the same parameters in terms of the quantity of stones but again I could come in here and Let's change this to 18, let's say. And you can see that's adjusted. And again, the same things with uh, channel widths and wall thicknesses and things like that. All right, I hope that's given you a bit of an overview about some of the options you've got if you're looking at uh, adding some parametric design tools to uh, either Rhino 5 or Rhino 6 or any of the existing plugins that you've got. Thanks. See you later. Bye for now.